so they're going right into it. Dwanga keeping to his guns with that Falco. Matt R looks like he's playing Fox through the bracket today. Usually picks one character and will stick with it until that character gets challenged. It's really whatever he's feeling that particular day, whether it be Fox Falco, uh, Captain Falcon. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is the, for most of the PM and uh, Melee weeklies, he's been Falcon consistently. Yep. This is the first time I've seen him bust out the Fox. Yeah, this Maybe something that happened at the end of the pain. He's like, I think I need to give the Fox a, a quick dusting off. Yeah, the Spacies are uh, known to feel a little bit different from Melee to Project M. Uh, a lot of uh, the players who play both games like have, are able to adjust to it, but um, people who want to keep their melee tech skill from like deteriorating at all just opt not to use them. Whereas Captain Falcon, I feel like, uh, has a lot more similarities. Feels a little bit clunkier in Project M um, from the, the melee player's perspective, but uh, if, you're, if you're good with him in one game, you're definitely able to pick him up in the other. Oh, yeah. But this game... Proven to be very close. Joanga sitting on a little bit more percent right now than Matt R. Trying to find his way back from this combo. Now Matt R. actually looking at almost a full stock lead. Well, Joanga might be down a stock, but he did get the shy guy, so that counts for something. Yeah. Uh, I actually like this stage for Falco more in uh, the spacey matchup. Really? Fox versus Falco. Yeah, I feel like Falco gets a lot more off the top platform than Fox does. Whereas uh, Fox is going to like really kill at like the same same time uh, pretty much regardless on like any stage with the up smash and up right. air whereas uh, Falco gets his kills so much earlier on this stage because of the short side blast zones with that up smash yeah I mean there's that but there's also the fact that Fox can get an invincible jump on and then shield onto those side yeah. platforms yep. so I mean it's not like either of these characters are bad on the stage yeah that's, that's, sure. that's why we definitely see yeah. them strike here in the neutral Ooh, Joanga recovering high. Matt R not able to get the punish out in time. Nice dash tech. See if he can follow it up with this bear, and he does. Yep. Joanga holding it down, bringing Matt R down to two stocks. See if he can put on some quick combos here. Matt R definitely not letting him have it in oh, that quick he, F smash. He read that uh, Phantasm fairly well. Yep, and uh, that tilt from the Yoshi Story platforms or ledges actually helping Matt R there, putting that down, or F smash hitboxes a little bit lower, able to scoop him out. Best of five set for you guys, so we got game one of potentially five here. Another stage good for both of the spacies. I feel like Fox actually gets a little bit more out of this one than Falco. Falco having a very hard time killing off the sides, especially those coast-to-coast -coast kills. Oh yeah. Whereas Fox actually kills just as early on this stage as he does Yoshi's pretty much. Oh, oh great that was a great jump. backflip yeah. over the A little bit of a uh, Matrix kind of looking uh, jump right there. Matt R putting out some great pressure here with these wave shine dash techs. Trying to get a drill uh, grab right there, but Dale's, or uh, Joe Wingo able to make, out, make it out. Oh, well, late Nair doesn't get punished for it. Matt R thinking in his shield a little bit too long. Joe Wingo able to extend this combo. He does. Ooh. Nice, nice. Matt R trying to get that tech, but teching a little bit too late. Ends up air dodging and killing himself. Yep, actually had already bounced off the stage when he put that tech input in, which caused him to air dodge and die. A great back air from Matt R, bringing it right back down to Tide. One minute into this match, we've already seen two deaths. These guys got all kinds of aggro game. So Matt R has hardly shot the gun at all. No. Wow. I mean, in this matchup, you really can't as Fox. Because, yeah, because Joing is putting out way better pressure with his lasers. Yeah. And uh, there's not much he can do. So Joing is getting a lot more easy, free damage into neutral. Yeah, Falco's lasers, I mean, the damage that you get from them is nice, but it's all about that pressure and that hit stun you get to put your opponent in, which is like, oh, great up smash there from Matt R, reading that Phantasm and punishing accordingly, but yeah, the Fox's lasers are definitely a little bit more uh, suited for, like, the kind of camping and damage, like, run and gun kind of play style, right. whereas Falco's lasers uh, can really just control the game from any part of the stage and actually even extend combos, like, that goes just a little bit too far. Seeing Mango make great use of that as Matt R gets a quick double up smash. Joanga finding his way out with a quick shine on his shield. Yeah, Matt R is doing a really good job of up smashing out of shield whenever Joanga just runs him with a dash yeah. attack or something. Oh, 
Unfortunate Phantasm, a little bit too low to grab that Pokemon Stadium ledge right there. Yeah, so Joanga's been using Side B a lot to recover, and every time it's getting red, or he kills himself, like in that case. Yeah. So I think he needs to switch up his recovery just a little bit more. It's hard as Falco because the Side B goes further than the Up B. Yeah. So yeah, you, you saw him recover just, high there too. Yeah, yeah you end up using only about Side B, and you end up being really predictable. But we still have one more game. Joanga does have the chance to uh, bring this back. I mean, none of the stage picks are really going to be that like immensely advantageous for him. So Definitely worth a try here. Uh, Fox, I feel like, gets a little bit more out of this stage than Falco, even though Falco can laser across the stage and like, you know, right. pretty much run it like that. Uh, up throw up smash is like really like a thing here for right. Fox. And I mean, Matt R can just power shield like we saw, so. Yeah. Also, uh, Matt R definitely able to get those wave shine combos, and on this stage, you can really just carry them all the way across. Nice shine there from Joanna, starting up a quick pillar combo. Matt R that missing was really that tech. Good. I don't know why he didn't just grab ledge. I mean,. Sometimes people respect Matt or, or other top players just too much when they're off stage. Yeah. Um, Doesn't matter who they are, they'll all die from a quick ledge guard if you know yep. when to grab it. Oh. And that time he does it, but it wasn't See, actually the right it's one. It's so hard yeah. to, to punish Fox like that, though. Like you feel like you get like a good eye on like how how, how far his recovery is going to go and which option you need that to do. That was a great jump into yep. falling back air. But yeah, you were saying he's so good, dude. Like Fox yeah. is so good. Some quick double shot or wave shines from Joanga here, putting on that style. Okay, so Joanga's spot. been holding on to the stock for a really long time compared to the other stocks, and that's because he's been mixing up his recovery uh -huh. and he's been mixing up the way he punishes. Oh, that Sorry. double yeah, laser that usually laser a good option, but yeah, Matt R playing a little bit too close, able to get in a quick punish. Yeah, and even if he did mix it up by using the up B at that distance, Falco probably would have been dead anyway, so not much Joanga could have done. He has gotten some pretty good percentage on in that uh, time that he had the stock advantage, though, so. Great nice. wait. Thought he was going to get that down smash before Matt R crossed him up, but apparently gets it no matter what, because Falco actually has, uh, ooh, wow, nice from Matt R. Yeah, that was 35% death, too. Falco has uh, invincibility on his legs when he charges up down smash. Actually, it's uh, intangibility. Like, you can't even, like, face through them. Like, Marth down tilt will go right through them. Nice uh, sweet spot back here there from Joango, perfectly spaced, definitely going to take that stock. Keeping it tied up to a piece here as Joango tries to take off one game off of the legendary Matt R. Matt R ganks the lasering, paying for it big time right now. Joango holding on to that combo. Oh, but now Joango's the one getting comboed. Yeah, these up throws definitely going to hurt Falco, especially on Final Destination here. Fox always able to get a punt or a follow-up if uh, Matt R can react correctly. You don't even really need a read. Nice F smash there, reading that missed tech. Matt R gonna lose that stock, and Joanga definitely in place to take this game right now. Yep. See if Matt R can uh, regain his composure a little bit here. Well, he's just getting dash danced around. Oh, great pillar combo. Joanga trying to build up some extra credit here. Would have liked to see a couple lasers, maybe try to build on another 3%, but coming in out of the stock hot off the respawn platform. See, now Joanga. Yep, finds really a way to, to put Matt R off his back. Yeah. Matt R, nice little cute combos here. Oh, good Falling short, up but ends up getting red for it. Or more like reaction. Yep, see Matt R just able to put in those uh, that full hop pressure oh so well. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter who he's playing. Uh, he will full hop and then wait for you to recover. And then just throw out a quick punish. <laughs> All right, Lobby, I think I'm going to hop off the mic right. here. I was commentating with you. Yeah, always.